Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and today starts our first episode in the Life's a Party Cricut cartridge and as I think I put, I did post this over on my blog that um, February is my son's uh, birthday and he'll be nine at the end of the month so I thought I would go ahead and get started on his decorations and we were flipping through this and he loved the treasure chest and um, a couple of other things like one of the castles and there was the map and stuff like that so he decided he was going to have a pirate themed birthday party so that's the map right here I love this manual I love the way the colors and how it's set out uh, set up versus the older man the older manuals and cartridges so anyway instead of just going over and giving you an overview um, with information I thought I would just take a couple seconds before I start making our invitations which will be the card um, I thought I would just go over some of the little things that are in the manual. Um, of course, you have your, ma um, your main image with the layers. Uh, phrases, which are more images than they are phrases. And some of them are phrases, but you know these are really, really cool. So um, you, could also ha you also have a card option. You have a cupcake wrapper option. You have a font, and you have the shadow font. So there's a lot packed into these car this cartridge. Um, so our first project is going to be this um, card, and it's the treasure chest shaped card. And we'll head over to the Cricut and get started. I'll show you how I cut this out and everything. Um, the only thing I did notice is that the layers do not work with the card option, but if you use your Gypsy, you can get them to work. So I will show you that too. So let's head over to the Cricut and get started. Okay, let's get started, and we're going to be, like I said, putting together this treasure box card right here, which is this image right here. I'm going to cut this out at three and a half inches, but I wanted to show you quickly just some awesome, there's so many different cards in here that you can use for other things other than what they're in here for. Let me see, I saw one that was really cool. Look at the treasure map. But that would make a really neat shaped card for a different project. Um, this is really cool too. It's the crown. Um, there was one that was a scallop card. I love the 3D coffin. That is awesome. Um, let me see. I can't find the card I was thinking of that I thought was really cool, and you can use it for just about anything. I love this one. There's a scalloped edge. So there's a heart shaped, welded heart shape. So, but anyway, there are tons of great cards in here. So even if you didn't want to use it for some of the stuff that's in the book, you can go ahead and just mix it up with lots of other Cricut cartridges. So this one's a ticket shaped, if you want to do a ticket shaped card. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be doing the, um, I'm going to be doing the treasure box. And let me just get my manual out so I can see where, what I'm doing. So I'm going to hit the card function key in the treasure box. And I'm going to set my size at three and a half inches. So three and a half inches. And I have my pressure and my speed already set to, I actually don't need it that high. I'm going to do down one for each because I'm using a textured cardstock, but it's a basil, so it's not really thick. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out our card. Okay, so we cut out the card. We're just going to move my um, arrows over a little bit. And I'm going to hit the shift key. And the treasure box, again, I'm going to cut out the layers for this. Again, it's at three and a half inches. Okay, I wanted to be able to cut out the lock um, for the treasure box, but when you're doing the card, the if you do it at three and a half inches, the lock, which is up on this layer right here, is too small. So I pulled out my Gypsy just to see what size it needed to be, and I'll show you I have my Gypsy right here. Um, hopefully you can see that. I took the image and kind of flipped it around and just kept sizing it until I got to a size that was going to be very close and it looks like if I cut it at four inches it's going to be pretty close and it also cuts out we'll go down let me zoom out um, for here the bottom layer down here to cut out the handles and that is pretty close too so I can also use that layer as well so I'm going to try to cut this out at four and a half inches and see 
or four inches rather, not four and a half, and see if that works. So I'm just going to hit my down arrow. Set this at four inches and turn off my card function, hit my layer key and hit the treasure box and I'm going to cut this out of four inches and we'll see how this lines up when we uh, get back over to my craft desk. Okay, I have everything cut out. I pulled out just a piece of white, my um, stamp, my old Stampin' Up! Uh, paper pad here to just so it's easier for you guys to see the images. Um, so let's go ahead and start putting this together. I did look, this is very, very close. Not quite perfect, but very close at four inches when you cut this out at three and a half inches. So you kind of have to play with it. You have a gypsy, you can kind of lay it out and size it until, until you're really close. But four, if you're just using the Cricut, it looks like about a half an inch, uh, half an inch bigger would work with the layers, at least on this one. So, okay, let's start putting this together. The first thing I'm going to do is score, and I'm going to use my, um, just my scoreboard to do my score lines. So I'm just going to set that right here and I think yep, we could just do it right up against here and do our score line for this one. And then this one we're probably going to have to move it just a little bit. There we go. So that's our score lines. And that's the only scoring you have to do on that one is just straight across. And we're going to go ahead now and put our layers on, which go on the inside of our image. So I'm going to start with this one. And my new best friend when I'm doing this stuff is this Tombow Multi-Liquid Glue. I feel like it works a little bit better than the um, Zig 2 way glue pen because it gives me more time to work with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my glue. I still love my, love my two-way glue, but I, I like this. I'm thinking I'm liking this a little bit better. So I'm just going to go ahead and line this up and stick that on. There we go. And it will dry clear, so if you get like I did a little bit on the front, it dries clear, so you don't have to worry about that. And then we'll do this side. I probably should have folded the score lines first. And like I said, using the liquid glue gives me a little bit of time to work with the image that if I need to slide it around or anything, I can go ahead and do that. Okay, so that'll be the bottom half of our treasure chest. And then we have the top half right here. I just love it. Isn't that adorable? It's going to make a really cool invitation. So let me just score these lines right here. And then I have my little lock, which is right here, and I'll put that right on. So I'm going to use my tweezers, my handy dandy. We'll just layer that right on the front. And again, it's not perfect, but it's pretty, pretty close. So we'll also do our little handles here, and that will be this one here. Making sure I have the right side facing out. Oops, 
stick it in my finger. So that's our first handle. And then our second handle goes right here. like that. So this will be his invitation. I haven't decided if I'm going to stamp you're invited or something on the front. So hopefully you guys can see that. It's a little dark. And on the inside I'm going to print out all of the party information and glue it right or adhere it right to the inside. So that is the first project in the um, in the Life's a Party Cricut cartridge and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.